In this video, we're going to do yet another related rates problem, this time involving a balloon which is in the shape of a sphere. So take a moment and read this. Thank you for reading it. So once again, uh, we're going to follow the same steps as we always do. So we're going to figure out what it is we're trying to find, our known rate of change. We're going to need a formula which they provided for us in the problem over here, volume of a sphere. Uh, we're then going to take the derivative, and then our last step is plugging in. Try to remember, do not plug in until after you take the derivative. So let's see, what is it we're trying to find? We're trying to find how fast is the volume increasing. So that's a rate of change with respect to time. So we have dv dt at a particular moment. They told us that moment is when the radius is 10 inches. So when r is 10. Our known rate of change, if we go back into the problem, we see that the radius is increasing, getting larger, so that's positive. So dr dt is going to be 3 inches per minute. So let's go ahead and put in our dr dt. Our formula they gave us, volume of a sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed. Now it's time to take the derivative. Derivative of v is dv dt. Derivative of 4 thirds pi r cubed would be 4 pi r squared dr dt. Remember, it's implicit differentiation, so you need to take the derivative of r, which is dr dt. Now it's time to plug in. The value that they gave us for r was 10. So we're going to go ahead and go dv dt is equal to 4 times pi times 10 squared times our dr dt, which is 3. Well, so we have 4 times 3 is 12, and 10 squared is 100, so that gives us 1,200 pi. Now, this is a volume, so when we do this, it's cubic inches per minute. Be very careful to match up uh, your uh, uh, value with what it is you're doing. So if you have a V, then you're going to have cubed. If uh, you have A, you're going to have a square. And if it's just a regular distance, then nothing.